Welcome to our virtual law legal analysis series. In today's episode, we will discuss the meaning, application and sample case of a priori. Let's dive right into it. The term a priori is a Latin phrase that means from what comes before. In philosophy, it refers to knowledge that is acquired independently of experience. In the Philippines, the term a priori is often used in the context of climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. Application One example of the application of a priori knowledge in the Philippines is the use of climate models to predict the impact of climate change on the country. Climate models are based on a priori knowledge of the physical processes that govern the climate system. This knowledge allows scientists to make predictions about how the climate will change in the future, even without having direct experience of those changes. Another example of the application of a priori knowledge in the Philippines is the use of risk assessments to identify communities that are most vulnerable to climate change impacts. Risk assessments are based on a priori knowledge of the hazards that a community faces, as well as the community's capacity to cope with those hazards. This knowledge allows decision makers to prioritize resources for adaptation and disaster risk reduction in the most vulnerable communities. Sample case A case study of the application of a priori knowledge in the Philippines is the response to Typhoon Haiyan in 2013. Typhoon Haiyan was one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Philippines. It caused widespread damage and loss of life. However, the impact of the typhoon was not uniform across the country. Some communities were more prepared for the typhoon than others. This was due in part to the use of a priori knowledge in the planning and implementation of disaster risk reduction measures. For example, the government of the Philippines used a priori knowledge of the risk of typhoons to develop a national disaster risk reduction plan. This plan included measures to strengthen the resilience of communities to typhoons, such as building seawalls and evacuation centers. The plan also included measures to improve early warning systems and disaster response capabilities. As a result of these measures, some communities in the Philippines were better prepared for Typhoon Haiyan than others. These communities were able to reduce the impact of the typhoon and save lives. This is a clear example of the value of a priori knowledge in climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. In addition to the examples mentioned above, a priori knowledge is also used in the Philippines in a variety of other contexts, such as public health, education, and economic development. As the Philippines continues to face the challenges of climate change, the use of a priori knowledge will become increasingly important. That's all for this episode. What do you think about the topic? Feel free to comment and suggest what topic you want us to discuss on the next video. Stay tuned for more legal insights in our future episode. Remember, understanding the law helps us comprehend the intricacies of our legal system. See you next time. Like and subscribe.